Good morning, kids. I'm Phil, and today uh, I'm excited to introduce you to our first episode of Painting with Phil. So let me just write that up here. Painting with Phil. And uh, you can't see it, so let me just move this closer. See, painting with Phil, and that's how I spell my name. Uh, so let's get right into the first episode. One moment. Excuse me. Excuse me. Anytime you burp, you should say excuse me because it's polite. Wonderful. Excuse me. So, today we're going to be learning about how to paint trees, which is really fun. So, let me get a fresh canvas here. All right. We got ourselves a nice fresh canvas, and we'll zoom in in a moment, but I just want to say how, how thankful I am for you guys to be joining me today on, on this very first episode of Painting with Phil. So let me just introduce you to a, a few of my members here on the show. Uh, member number one is Cup. Cup holds your water. See, anytime, anytime you want to paint, you should have some water to wash your paintbrushes off um, because it's just, it's, I don't know why they do it. I just know that they do it, and I'm trying to be as professional as possible. So. We wash our paintbrushes off when we're done using them. And sometimes if you're trying to switch the color you're using and you don't want any of the old stuff on there, you want to wash the paint off, okay? Um, which is fantastic. Now, I, I look like I'm looking off to the side, and that's because I kind of am, because the camera's not quite centered. Like, I could be looking at you, and then I look at the camera, and I'm a little off to the side. But it's okay. It's, it's okay because... Just imagine, use your, your kids, use your imagination that I'm looking at you and not off over here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get um, a plate. And the plate is your palette. So you're going to take your paints and you're going to put them different colors on there on the plate um, so that you have them all in one place and you don't have to be going bottle to bottle, okay? Then you're going to take your paintbrush and you're going to dip it in the paint and you might mix some. And then you're going to, when you have the color you want, you're going to paint it up here. You're going to paint, uh, and today we're going to be painting a tree. And after you've painted your tree, which is awesome, um, whatever's left, you can just throw it out. And that's the best thing about a plate, is that um, the only thing that's wasted is the plate and the extra paint on the plate. But you don't have like a, a full jar that's dried out or anything like that, which is great. And then you wash your paintbrush off in the water and you're set you're done you can clean up pretty easily which is pretty cool let me get that palette first now i've i've gone ahead and i've mixed some of our our paint colors already and as you can see here i have some um i have some orange paint and some blue paint and some more blue paint some yellow paint the yellow paint's not very easy to see i hate yellow and i probably won't use it today uh, i also have some of this whatever that color is, and some green and some, uh, it looks like it might be red, red paint up there. So we have lots of different paints. Um, unfortunately, we don't have my favorite color, which is brown. Uh, usually you want brown for painting trees, at least for the trunk. And I don't, I don't have any brown paint. Um, my mom didn't pick any up the last time she went to the store. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. You know how that is, though, because you probably have mothers who never get you what you need, and they just, they never get you what you've asked for, even though you've asked her, like, every time you've even written it down on the grocery shopping list, brown paint, and they don't get it, uh, but, but that's okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pause a little bit so I can adjust the camera so you can get a really good zoomed-in spot of my... Um, canvas here as we get ready to paint this tree. So bear with me one moment. We're going to go ahead and pause.